What's going on guys and welcome back to the final ratings review for the top 50 players in NHL 20. Obviously today we we're looking at the top 10 players. Now they actually haven't released these stats yet on the website but I was able to work some magic and actually get the individual stats for you guys. So starting off here at number 10 we have Carey Price, 91 overall. The game face there looks pretty good again with the goaltenders. Not really too big of a deal if it doesn't look good. And right there you guys can see his stats. So like most goalies, pretty balanced. He's actually got a 94 stat though and stick low, so I think that's probably the highest in the game. 95 endurance as well, I see it's very, very high. So Price is probably the best goalie we've seen yet. You can see his reflexes there, 92 angles, 92 breakaway. Just a very good all-around goalie. And after him, we actually have another goalie, also rated 91 overall, Andre Vasilevsky. Now, in the EA tweet, they said Vasilevsky is the highest rated goalie, so probably if you add up like all the stats, Vasilevsky is, you know, one or two higher total, but... So maybe he's like a 91.4, price is a 91.3, something like that. So right here you guys can see Vasilevsky's stats. Looks to be a bit more balanced because he actually doesn't even have a 94 like price, but 93 rebound control and recovery, 93 vision, lots of 92s there, angles, breakaways, five hole, glove highs. So yeah, just like a slightly better version of price it looks like. Neither of them are really the biggest goalie, Vasilevsky there at 6'2", price at 6'3", but they're both so high rated. Hopefully they are the two best goalies in the game. I do know EA has been working on trying to fix goalies essentially with all those new animations and stuff. So the goalie rating actually affects the gameplay a lot more than in the past when you just use the biggest goalie. Next up here guys, number 8, Drew Doughty. So this one's definitely had some controversy around it. 91 overall, I believe this makes him the second highest rated defenseman in the game. Personally, I do think it's a little bit high, but I do think Doughty is not as bad as some people are saying. Like Some people are acting like he's not you know, a really good defenseman still. I think he is. But he's not number two. I'd say he's probably more like top 10 opposed to the second best. So let's see a look at his stats here. Two way defender. 90 speeds. Pretty good, I think, for him. Probably a bit too generous. Hands there. Very solid passing and puck control. 93D awareness. 91 shot block. 92 stick check. Obviously, really good defensive stats there. Shots powerful at 90s. And even mid 80s for accuracy for defensemen. Honestly, pretty solid. 88 strength. 85 aggressiveness. 85 body check. 90 poise there. So yeah, overall, it's just a very good all-around defenseman. So like I mentioned, this is definitely the rating I've seen the most controversy around. We'd love to hear from you guys what you think an accurate rating for Doughty would be. Personally, I think 91, like I said, is a bit too high. I think 89, maybe 90 is the max uh, better rating for him. Next up here at number 7, we have Victor Hedman. Also 91 overall, but like Vasilevsky, he's considered the highest rated defenseman in the game. So again, it's probably like 0.1 total higher than Doughty, which makes sense. I do think Hedman's probably the best all-around defenseman in the game. Offensively, it would have to go to either Burns or Carlson, probably Carlson when he's healthy. So, Hedman here is an absolute beast. He's 6'6". He kind of does it all for you. Skating there is not too bad. 87 speed, 86 in solid and agility. 93 balance is pretty unreal. Like, he's going to be tough to get off the puck with 90 endurance and 93 strength. Like, you're for sure going to be in tough trying to get the puck off Hedman's stick. Now, Deacon and Hand aren't the greatest, both 80s. Defensive stats, though, 93D awareness, 89 shot block, 93 stick check. Pretty unreal. 90 offensive awareness and poise. Shot there, 90s for both powers. The slap shot accuracy is actually pretty good, 84. Wrist shot, not the greatest at 80, but still big shot from the point at least, but he has that. And then again, physical is insane, five stars there, 88 aggressiveness, 90 body check with that 93 strength. Uh, definitely best all-around defenseman in the game with the size, skill, everything. Just an absolute beast out there. So next up, we actually have our first forward here. They gave us the two goalies, then the two defensemen. Now the top six are all forwards. We got Patty Kane there, obviously one of the sickest players in the league, and his stats reflect that. As you guys can see here, 97 deking, 97 hand eye, 96 passing, 95 puck control. Like the dude is just filthy. Now I see his player type is still sniper. I'm torn on that. I feel like I don't know. He's like the perfect blend of a sniper and a playmaker. So I guess you kind of just have to flip a coin because he's got six shots. You guys can see there, 95 shot accuracy, 95 or sorry, 94. Slap shot power, but he's also an insane playmaker. So it's really tough to say which one he excels at more. Offensive awareness there, 96 is insane, along with the 95 poise, 90 discipline. Really good skating too. 90 speed's a bit on the lower end for elite players, but 94 excel, 94 agility. So he can get up to that top speed very fast, and agility obviously just cutting through the ice. Defensive stats are honestly probably a bit too high for Kane. 89 D awareness, 75 shot block, 89 stick check. I feel like... The, eight, the defensive awareness should probably be mid-80s with like a 70 shot block and like it actually stick check I think a lot of these elite players have an awesome stick so I don't mind that but D awareness and shot block I think could be a bit lower and then physical Kane is always pretty low 75 aggressiveness 75 body check 81 strength that makes sense obviously not 511 I thought he's like 510 but yeah not the biggest guy ever he's only 177 as well but like we said just one of the sickest players in the league next up here number five Nathan McKinnon so he's got one of the biggest jumps up to 92 overall well deserved back-to-back 
awesome years. In my opinion, he is a top five player in the league, if not even top three. So take a look at his stats here. So as you can see, he's still very, very fast. 93 speed, excellent agility. Puck skills there, 92s and 93s. Pretty much all 93 actually, aside from hand-eye. Defensive stats, pretty solid. 90 D awareness, 80 shot block, 90 stick check. Face-offs aren't the greatest for a center, 77. So in hut, you're probably using him on the wing. Let's see, 93 offensive awareness, 90 poise. Awesome shot though. Nine, his wrist shot's insane. Slap shot's very solid as well. 86 strength's pretty solid for him. 83 body check. So yeah, McKinnon just a very fast playmaking center. Has a sick shot on him. McKinnon, obviously, well-deserved. I think all those stats make sense to me. The next up, number four here, we have the greatest goal scorer probably ever in the NHL, Alexander Ovechkin. Now look at his game phase too. I felt like they did him a bit dirty there with the hair, like the bangs. They just something looks off about them. We forgot to actually comment on McKinnon's. His is okay. I feel like they could have done a bit better job. Um, Patty Kane there, I think they did pretty good. And then Hedman there, not too bad. I feel like the forehead might be a bit too big on him. And Doughty's there. I, I, like the angles when it's like coming from the bottom, I feel like they're trying to hide something. I don't know, but uh, Doughty there, I guess, looks okay. And I think Vashlevsky, yeah, he had a helmet on. So, anyways, look at how Vetchkin's stats here. Sniper, like we said, greatest goal scorer. Look at that shot. 95 for the slap shot, actually in power. 94 for the wrist shots. He's got the best shot in the game for sure. Speed's still pretty good. 88 speed, excel agility, 95 balance, so he's tough to push over. 6'3", 235, the dude's solid. Hands there, 96 hand eye. He's got that, you know, Obi's office on the power play, just claps them, that makes sense. 95 puck control, 90 deacon in passing, 87 D awareness, 82 shot block, 89 stick checks. Obviously, not the most defensive player ever. I think 87 D awareness is even, you know, pretty generous, I'd say. 94 strength, like we said, he's tough to get out the puck. He's got a lot of strength there. 89 aggressiveness as well is pretty high with a 91 body check. So the dude, he can shoot, he can throw the hits. Uh, he can make a pass if he has to. Obi's just, like I said, greatest goal scorer of all time in my opinion. And these stats more or less prove that. So if you get Obi in huts, or even if you have him on your team in franchise, he's going to score a lot of goals for you. Usually, almost always, like the first three years, he wins the Marisha Shards. Sometimes it's Tarasenko, but it's usually Ovechkin. So... Next up here, guys, number three, we have another very good Russian player. This is Kucherov, also 92 overall. Look at his game face here. I feel like, not including the beard, it's pretty good. The beard's way too dark. I'm pretty sure in real life, his beard's a lot more closer in color to his actual hair color. I'm not sure why they made the beard black there, but whatever. So Kucherov also says a sniper there. Hands are sick, 94s and 95s. Shot there, 95 wrist shot accuracy. That's just deadly. 93 on the slap shot, 90 powers for both. 96 offensive awareness, 95 poise. Skating is very good, 92 speed, 93 excel and agility. Defensive stats there, honestly, I think pretty uh, generous again. 91 defensive awareness, 83 shot block, 89 stick check. I feel like a lot of these really good elite wingers, their defensive stats are a bit too high. It's more the centers, I think, or certain centers that have the better two-way game. Physical there is not too bad, 85 strength, 84 body check. Only 80 aggressiveness, which is kind of surprising. So basically, if you're not controlling him, he's not as likely to, you know, go for loose pucks and stuff with the lower aggressiveness stat. But overall, I think, you know, Kucherov, well-deserved. He have 128 points last year. Art Ross, Hart, Ted Lindsay. Uh, he definitely deserves this rating. So uh, looking at those stats there, aside from some of the defensive stats, I feel like all of these make sense. So number two, it's pretty obvious who's next. Sidney Crosby, you mentioned him before with McKinnon. His game face there, I feel like that looks pretty good. Again, we're only looking at the right side of his face, but... Still not too bad. So Crosby, there's a playmaker. 90 speed, but 92 excel and 93 agility. Honestly, I think you could even have 95 agility. Like, I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that Crosby has, like, the best edge work in the NHL. So if we're talking about that as a stat, I feel like that would transition to agility. So I wouldn't mind that being even higher. Like, he's just so good working behind the net and stuff. Puck skills there, all 95. Sick hands. Defensive stats are insane, honestly. 93 defensive awareness, 93 face-off. So huge face-off boost to Crosby. That's actually better than Bergeron. Bergeron has 92, so I don't know about that one. I think they did do Bergeron dirty. Crosby at 93, I think that's equal with Hayes. And then what is it? Kopitar, Riley, 94. Drew, the lone, 95. So I do like the increased face-offs, but I think you need to tweak a couple of them. Crosby, I don't mind him at all being top 10, but Bergeron should be better. But Crosby is very good in the face-off circle. 85 shot block, 93 stick check. He's got one of the best sticks in the game. That could honestly be 95. There's like, I'm pretty sure a montage video on YouTube that just shows how good he is. 93 wrist shot accuracy is pretty insane. Slap shot there is all in the low 90s. It kind of sucks there's no stat for backhand as Crosby probably has the best backhand in the league as well. So best edge work, best backhand. And agility, you can show the edge work. Backhand, I guess it would be wrist shot accuracy, which is pretty high there, but they could even turn that up to say a 95. So that when you go to your backhand in game, it's even more likely as I think 
backhand does have less ch like less accuracy than forehand in general. I'm pretty sure I don't quote me on that. So I honestly wouldn't even mind him having like 95 wrist try accuracy. And then physical stats there, 89 strength, pretty solid, 85 body check, 85 aggressiveness. Again, Crosby here with his skating stats, like they're pretty solid. He might be the best two-way center in this game just because those face-offs with the 93 stick check and the 93 defense awareness is pretty unreal. It Like it'd be tough between Bergeron, but because of all the other aspects of his game, like pretty insane. Like if McDavid didn't have the speed, Crosby might be the best player in the game. Speaking of McDavid, we'll go to him next. Right there, you guys can see his game face. I feel like his is pretty good aside from the eyes. They look a bit too big slash buggy for me, but other than that, they did a pretty good job. So McDavid stats here, obviously he's a playmaker. Fastest player in the game, 96 speed, 97 XL, and 97 agility. The guy wears 97, just give him 97 speed. Like, what are you doing? Don't hold out one point. He's that fast. 97 offense awareness. Like, they, they're clearly like the 97s on McDavid. Just go all out for him. 90 poise. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. He's the best player in the world. Give him 95 poise like all the other elite players. I'm pretty sure Matthews has 95 poise. Like, come on. Give McDavid 95 poise. Doesn't make sense. Hands there are nasty. 95 to 96. Defensive stats, 91D awareness, 81 faceoffs, so a bit on the lower end for centerman, but you could still use him at center. Definitely though in Hut, he's probably going to excel still on the wing. 83 shot block, 90 stick check, so again, he's kind of like a faster, not as good defensively version as Crosby. Shot there is insane, 94 wrist accuracy, 93 slap shot accuracy, 90 for the powers. Physical stats are actually pretty solid, 86 strength, 84 body check, 84 aggressiveness, so not going to get pushed off the puck too easily. 87 discipline as well, so shouldn't be taking too many penalties. Again, I would say he's the best player in the game for sure. Um, if you don't look at the defensive stats, it's not even close. And then even with the defensive stats, I'd still say he has a slight edge on Crosby, but uh, they're both very close. Like, McDavid might honestly be the fastest player to ever play in the NHL. And I've seen people say how Crosby's probably the best grinder to ever play in the NHL. I know he's a superstar and everything, but like the way he plays, he, you know, he grinds down low and everything. It's probably the best grinder ever. So definitely two different play styles, but I still like them being one and two with McDavid. Um, having the slight edge there. So that's it guys for the top 50 player ratings. Of course, this is the top 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. The game comes out on the 5th, I think, with EA Access. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Should have a bunch of videos out on that first day. Also, if you guys did enjoy this one, leave the thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed yet, please do that. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.